Hi, it's Bill with Molly Aftermarket Inc. Also, it's Bill with Clevite. Here to talk to you today about coated bearings. Now, it's not that my budget's really tight, because you see I've only got two little samples here. Problem is, this time of year I spend more time at the racetrack than I do in the office, and I didn't do a good job gathering up lots of coated samples. But let me talk to you about coated bearings. In the last 10 years, we've seen our coated bearing sales just skyrocket. You know, it used to be a little bit of our race bearing sales was coated, and now I bet 30, maybe 40% is coated. And that doesn't count, of course, what our customers buy from us uncoated and then send out to their favorite coater. So a number of reasons for coated bearings. First one is that the coatings, and most of today's coatings, are a PTFE. You know, that is the, the common name for Teflon, which is a trade name, PTFE-based coatings. And they tend to be fairly tough. They also tend to be slippery and they reduce the wear, reduce the friction between the crankshaft and the bearing. Another good thing about coatings is that because they're slippery, if we have a marginal oil film, we talked about that last time in part two of this series, if we have a marginal oil film, this is less likely to seize to the crankshaft, the coating is, than the soft Babbitt overlay here. So that's another reason for coated bearings. A third reason is, matter of fact, let me show you this sample here. And this sample bearing, is, this is from an alcohol dragster, and you'll notice there's a big hole in the middle of the bearing where the overlay is going. And that's a phenomenon called cavitation. And a, a coated bearing helps reduce that cavitation because the surface strength of the film of the coating is better than the surface strength of Babbitt, so it tends to reduce that tendency to start the cavitation. So a number of reasons for coated bearings. Now, an interesting part of this story I wanted to share with you is the fact that this was a race thing. Well, now coated bearings are at the OE level. We're coating bearings today in our manufacturing plants going into new cars and trucks, both in the U.S. and Europe. And interestingly, two places, probably that you wouldn't even think of where the market is, one is these little engines that we call start-stop engines. I don't know if you've driven any of these cars, but these are cars when you pull up to a traffic light and stop for a, you know, 20, 30 seconds or longer for the light to turn, the engine quits. And then when the light turns and you take your foot off the brake, the engine starts up and away you go again. Start-stop technology. Well, every time the engine shuts off and restarts, it's hard on the crankshaft and the bearing because you have to reestablish the oil film every time, and this could be literally 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 times a day if you lived in a big city. So really hard on bearings, really hard on crankshafts. So we're supplying coated bearings to those kind of engines to reduce the wear of the parts, make those engines live a long life. The other place that we're selling coated bearings at the OE level is little small diesel engines, especially popular in Europe and growing in popularity here. Uh, high cylinder pressure means lots of load, Lots of load means pressure on the oil film. Pressure on the oil film means possibility for the bearing to seize to the crankshaft. Coating comes into play and reduces that possibility. So we've gone from a performance part to an OE part, and we'll come back and complete that circle sometime soon when we bring OE technology and materials into some new coatings. Thanks for tuning in.